It's September! It's September, and I'm going to show you how to use your stream deck as an automatic sub counter. All you're going to need to make this happen is, one, a stream deck, and two, a bot that can control OBS, turn sources on and off. On to the basics. You all know that if you push a button on a stream deck, you can turn a source on and off. Like I'm turning on and off this yellow square right here by pushing the button. But the really cool thing about that is the stream deck knows when the source is on or off. You can see it gets a little bit brighter, a little bit dimmer when I press a button. Same thing if I turn it on and off in OBS, it adjusts. Now that looks kind of plain. So we can actually tweak a few things right here. In the stream deck software, I have the source set up right here. I can actually make it so that when it's turned on, it can be green. And when it's turned off, it can be black. That way, when the source is off, it's showing nothing on the stream deck. But when you turn it on, it all of a sudden turns green. And that is the backbone of our sub counter. Now, depending on which stream deck you use, you might need to do 6, 15, or 32 color sources. The reason I recommend using color sources is because they don't take really any additional processing power. You're not loading any assets, so it's really lightweight on the system. So you're not going to bog things down. But wait, I don't want these color sources popping up whenever I get a sub. All you have to do is create a background scene, a scene you'll never ever switch to, and all it does is house all of the color sources. It can be in the background, never to be seen by the light of day. But the Stream Deck will still know if those sources in the background scene are on and off. So just make a new scene, and in that scene, put all of your color sources, just like I've done right here. Now, you've got all of your color sources set up to turn on and off all of your buttons on your Stream Deck, how do you control them with your bot? Well, like I said, you're going to need a bot that can control sources in OBS, turn them on and off. For my current version of my stream, I use Firebot to control this. But you can use a number of different bots to control this, such as Atom, Cruise Control, Streamer Bot, and so on and so forth. As long as it can read a sub from Twitch and then do something with that information. So I'm going to really quickly show you how I do that in Firebot. So there's a couple things that I have in Firebot. I have multiple sub alerts as you can see you can just do this with a generic sub alert you don't have to break it apart i break it apart because i have different alerts now the next important thing is a counter so i have my sub goal counter and at the start of every stream i reset it to zero. First thing we need to do is whenever we get a sub go to your sub event edit you want to update the counter you go sub counter so i have my sub goal counter increment one I just add one to it, every sub that I get. That's all I have to do here. That's all I have to do for any sub event right here. Now the magic is in the next part, in the counter. So in the sub goal, we'll go and edit that, and we have conditional effects now. Inside the counter, every time the counter updates, it checks to see what its number is and what it should do. I use a 15 key stream deck. In fact, I use two of them, one up here and one right here. And both of them are linked to the exact same color sources so that they both respond at the same time. So no matter which camera angle I show, there's a Stream Deck counter somewhere on screen. Now that we're onto the conditional effects of the sub counter, we need to see, okay, what number are we at? And once we get to 15, obviously we can't keep going on a 15 key Stream Deck, so we reset it down again. So we'll go into conditional effects. I took the long route. Now, depending on which bot you use, you can really simplify this, or you might have to do it one by one by one. So what we have to do now for these numbers is a little bit of math. We need to figure out the remainder. We need to figure out if there's one sub or 16 subs or up to 31 subs. So there's a remainder of one each time. So right now we're putting everything in the math bracket right there. So it knows, okay, we need to do some math on it. So we're gonna take the value of the sub goal counter. We're gonna use this operator right here. Now, forgive me for saying this incorrectly. If I say correct incorrectly, I only ever see it written. Modulo, M-O-D-U-L-O. -O. So what this does is figures out if there's a remainder. Right here, you can see we have it set to 15. So it's gonna do a little bit of fancy math. So what it's gonna figure out is how many times 15 nice and easily goes into the sub goal. And then if there's a remainder. So for example, if there's only one sub 15 doesn't go into the sub goal, go, well, it goes into it zero times. And then there's a remainder of one. It's the exact same thing if there's 16. 15 goes into it one time and there's a remainder of one, this will fire. Same thing if it goes to 31. 15 goes into 30 twice and there's a remainder of one. That's always going to light up just one square. What this will now allow us to do is toggle the OBS source visibility for the first square. 
And we do the same thing for the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, all the way up and cover all 15 squares. And once all 15 squares are full and goes back down to the very first square being written because it'll jump up to 16. So you can see here that even though we only go to 14, we have 15 actions right here. This very first one is if there is no remainder, it's going to light up all of the squares on the stream deck. So at this point, you might be asking, well, this math right here means that if it's zero, you're gonna have everything lit up as well. But this is where Stream Deck multi-action comes in. In the multi-action, we are going to set the sub goal to zero, and then we are going to turn off all of the color sources in OBS. And that sets everything up moving forward. And that is how I use my Stream Decks as a live automated sub counter for the month of September.